Hey guys, thank you for checking out our video. My name is Sean Utters and this is Pinnacle Combat Arts. Like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell so you can be notified every time we get a new video. Today we're going to be talking about Panatukan and the four sectors. Let's get started. The four sectors. First, first aspect is you need to understand is that a sector is simply different lines of attack. Okay, so come on in. All right. So, what does this mean? What is this all about? A whole curriculum can be developed through the four sec. What I call the four sectors. The basic four sectors are: if her arms are up like this, okay, I can attack inside this line, this line, this line, and this line. Okay, and that's all just with my lead hand. Okay, so four here. So we have one, two, three, and four. Let's see it from this sector. Go and face that way. Okay, so you have sec outside sector, inside sector. Okay, off the lead hand, inside sector off the rear hand, and outside sector off the rear hand. Okay, it's same similar thing when you see it in Wing Chun. It's the same exact deal. Okay, and so. It's also the same with the rear hand. So I can do everything I did with my lead hand of coming up here. I can do it with my rear hand, okay? Rear, lead, all those things are just variables based on what stance you're standing in. You can always change stance too. You're not just limited to one type of stance, okay? But the four sectors, and what we're gonna be talking about today is specifically what we call Simgob, and in some styles we call it the Dali S. Okay, when I come in here, I can slide in, for instance, to do an attack, I go to the eyes, okay? I can, when I do that, after I hit the eyes, okay, I can then follow up because what are they gonna do? As soon as I hit the eyes, what are you gonna do? Yeah, she's gonna grab her, she's gonna grab her eye and go, ah, you know, usually that's what's gonna take place, okay? Unless they don't have eyeballs. <laughs> and they're just metal balls in there or something, I don't know. They're gonna grab their eyes, okay? So when I'm in my, when her and I are in our fighting stance, okay, and she, so for instance, she throws a jab and I slip that jab and she, as she draws it back, I come in behind the attack and get her in the eye. And once I do that, then I can follow up with a, for instance, a cross. We could do palm strike if we want, uppercut, cross again. Okay, maybe do some kicks and throw some kicks inside of there as well. Okay, so for instance, she throws the jab, I slip it and come back and I go right to the eye like that. Notice I'm using what I call fingerprint attack. Okay, because if she turns her head down and I straight do it all straight like I'm doing a snake move here, I'm going to jam my fingers and I'm going to hurt my fingers. So we want to just make sure we're, see how I can just hit to the finger, to her, 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 her knuckles with the fingerprint part of my finger and it does, is not going to hurt me. So she throws a jab, I come out of the way and I come back up and then I come in with my combination, okay? And that's how we do it. Let's go ahead and... So I'm gonna throw the jab, she slips out of the way and comes back, does that and then goes cross, uppercut, cross. There it is. So she does, she, I go here, good. Yep. So here, there we go. All right, so that's the first sector. She can throw the jab and I come into the inside sector. You see that? I'm coming on the inside sector, okay? In some different groups or systems, they may call this a split entry, okay? But this is the second sector. Boom, here, I'm pairing the motion. So the first thing, if you're not good at pairing, then you should practice pairing. She's, she's trying to throw a punch at me, go ahead and get farther back. She, move, she step, step and slides in, she's going here, boom. I can move my head off a little bit as well, but I'm trying to prevent her from hitting me. My hands are up, that's the first part. Then we go in and we're in this position, boom, just like that, okay, okay. And then she's gonna move back when I come back, come back. okay. And so uh, let's do, uh, after the, here, we'll go, we'll go cross hook cross this time, okay. So I go here, boom, and then cross hook cross, just like that. She goes here, pop, and then cross hook cross. And notice when I'm doing it, I'm doing it to her forehead, okay? Then we get the focus mitts, and we do it with the focus mitts. So we split, boom, pop, 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 good. All right, from the 
sign? <laughs> Good, okay. All you're doing is that we call it split entry or you're doing that second sector, okay? So she puts her arms up. This is the first sector, that's the second sector. So you're going on the inside sector. Now we're gonna do it off the rear, the rear hand, okay? And so the way that's gonna work, she puts that cross out, you're gonna go into this position here. You see that? So if you've never done it before, you need to practice this. So you're just gonna, you're gonna parry and go inside like that, okay? So we're just going here, okay? And it's important that when you parry, you don't over parry, okay? It's important that you just parry just past the face. Your head can move off to the side. This hand goes right up in the center. We're always, we're always monitoring the other hand, okay? So we'll go here, okay? And then what I'm gonna have you do for this one, you're gonna go overhand, uppercut, overhand, just like that. So it's cross, boom, and then she steps back, bam, bam, bam. Yep, sorry about that, pop here. And then I'm coming over and I, I'm just having her step back so I don't hit her. Uh, and it's just so you can see the mechanics of it as well. So I'm, when I throw that overhand, you wanna use your knuckles, okay? Boom and boom. Notice I'm moving off to the side when I do this, okay? So I'm going here like this, and then I'm coming in overhand, uppercut, overhand, just like that, okay? So again, we go here, one, okay? And then overhand, uppercut, overhand. Now I'm gonna have her do the focus mitts. So you go here, boom. Now you're gonna do eyes, yep, yep. And then overhand, uppercut, overhand. Now it's important when you guys, if you're hold, holding focus mitts, in the old, a lot of, in the old days, they do. Hope they, a lot of people still do it this way. They, they do the focus mitts like that, and you don't want to do them like that, okay? Because that's not realistic to the shape of a person's head, okay? The shape, the shape. Uh, um, it's important that you do the shape more like this, and you just turn it out so their knuckle comes down on it like that, okay? Don't do it like this because that's not realistic to the to the shape of a person's head. Focus mitts are supposed to represent reality, okay, and not not non-reality. So. I throw the cross, she does that here. She goes overhand, uppercut, overhand, okay? And notice how I have the, the focus mitt formed, okay? So here, bop, 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 yep. <clears throat> here, bop, 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 yep. Turn that knuckle over, do it again, let me see it. So see how she's turned, when she does the knuckle, she's using, put it out there slow, yep. She's using the head, the head of her knuckle right here, okay? That's what she's using. So here. Good. Huh. Get a little higher up. Yep, get that overhand a little higher. There you go. All right, so that's how we do that. So that was this sector here. It's the third sector here, okay? She turns the other way. This is the third, that was the third sector. Now we're gonna go on to the fourth sector here. We'll do a parry and then an eye shot like that, okay? So one, two, just like that. One, two. Let's do it from this side so they can see a little bit better. So one and then two. Notice how I'm just parrying it and then sliding my hand straight down. Parry and slide. Parry and slide. Now notice the thing that you need to remember is we have to uh, we have to monitor that rear that other hand because if I go like this and I start to go and she throws that, that other hand, I'm going to come in here like this. Then I can come in and do whatever kind of movement I want to do from that position. But I'm going one, two, and that goes straight to the eyes. Once I go straight to the eyes, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna practice doing the cross. This time we're gonna do body shot and then cross. Now notice how I do the body shot. I'm doing the body shot like this, not like this. Why? Because when I hit to the body, I don't want to use these knuckles right here. I want to turn my knuckles here. You can either do that, or you can palm strike with this part right here. Okay, just like in our previous video we were talking about. Okay. So to start off, I'll have her do it slow so she can get, get the basic momentum of this. So when I throw that cross, she's gonna parry with the lead hand, go straight to the eyes, okay? And we'll just practice that first. Boom, so parry, pop, pop. And so the idea is, if, you're, if you ever trained, cross-trained into a uh, Jun Fan, Pak Sao Sut Sao, uh, that's the Pak Sao Sut Sao, kind of like the Pak Sao Sut Sao. But when you do the pox out sit down, instead of it being this wide motion like this, it should be you, you use your hands here, yang yang energy here, bop, and then just go straight to the eyes. Instead of going doing a wide motion like this, it should be you hit and go straight in. And that's more efficient 
than just doing this wide motion here. It takes too much time. When she throws that cross, I'm going here like this and going straight to the eye. Boom, boom, just like this. If I hear, just like that, see? Now notice what I'm also doing, I'm going like this. I call this bumping. This is a wrist bump, okay? But it's also, in Tai Chi Chuan, we call this the yang, the yang and the yang energy. Yang, 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 or yin, some people say yin, yang, that's, that's American or English terms. The yang is the drawing energy and the yang is the direct energy. So I'm going here, bop, and then bam, there's here. And it's all in this little, small little motion. We can go, pow, okay? So I, throw, I put that cross out and she's gonna, she's gonna go here and then straight to the eyes. Let's do it on this side. One and then two. I don't trust her quite to the, uh, not to hit me in the eye because I've been hitting the eye so many times. Okay, so we're going here. She goes straight to the shot like that. And for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use just this hand so she can fire off quicker. If I try, if I let her go here and then shoot here, I have to, I, I gotta try to get this hand up and it's not gonna be fast enough. So the, the way to be efficient is to, when I go like this, is to put this hand here, okay? And then she can do the body shot and then she can go here, see that? And that makes it a little bit more efficient. Let's go switch sides again. So she parries it and goes to the shot. She comes straight in, okay? I drop it down to my body. Now notice how I do it. I do it at, at around my rib, her rib height, okay? So the cross here and I go here, boom, and then back to this. See that? And that's all there is to the motion. So I'm going one, two, pop, pop, pop. Good. Here. Ah, yep, yeah, we'll do it again. One, two, three. Good. Hop, hop, hop. Okay. And what we'll do for the third one, instead of me bringing it back up again, I'll use this hand and she'll, that last punch will be on there. Okay. So we go one, pop, pop, pop. Good. Okay. Pop. One, two, three. Good. Okay. Here. Yeah, there we go. One, yep, she wants to go really super fast. I'm trying to get, have her go a certain speed because I want it to be able to be seen on the camera decently. She's got one speed and that's really fast usually. <laughs> so uh, we're trying to get it good for you. So here, pop, 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 good. Oh, wrong hand, <laughs> throw some wild ones at you. Good, okay, so that's that's the last one, okay? So those are the four different sectors of the Pentateuchon. This is just one of the many gazillion different variations to this because there really is so many variations to this, um, to, to the four sectors. This is just the, the four basic ones. Hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys next time. Pentateuchon, level one. This program is one of the most streamlined. It's over eight and a half hours long. It gives you everything step by step, everything that you need, fundamentals, breakdown of all the exercises you need, understanding of empty hand, how to use fight without gloves, with gloves. It's gonna teach you all the aspects that you need about the foundation and fundamentals of Panatukan. Okay, unlike what we see a lot of times now in the combatives in the Filipino martial arts world, a lot of techniques, a lot of drills, but how do you make those drills go from the drill to actual real combatives? And that's what this program, this is the first level to that and getting you set up, learning all the aspects of how do I engage? What's the techniques? What do I need to practice to get myself where I'm able to be able to be adaptable in combat? Okay, that's the most important thing. That's what everybody's looking for. How do I get better? How do I get, how am I able to adapt when somebody attacks me? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do it? What I'm gonna do is I'm giving you a different perspective on Panatukan, unlike what you see in this modern day where you see a lot of drills and exercises that just don't translate to real combat. I call the meat and potatoes of combat. Not the fluff, not all the extra stuff, but only simply the things that you really need that are gonna help you be effective in combat. But the most important thing in combat is to survive. The most important thing is to be able to adapt, okay? And so that's what this program is all about. This is gonna help you go to that next level. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or you've been doing this for 10 years, 
I'm gonna help fill in those gaps, fill in those holes that you've never learned before. Go to our website, pinnaclecombatarts.com. There you can find out more about what I do and the classes that I provide. Thank you guys so much for your support and have a great day.